We're back. Lisa Oxstein and Larsa Pippen are here. Uh, new episodes of Housewives of Miami are streaming Thursdays on Peacock. The first four episodes are up now. And Hannah Keller is from Whipped Urban Dessert Lab. Located on the Lower East Side, they ship nationwide, widely known as the world's first oat milk ice cream shop. Uh, and uh, this is a female and black owned business, 100% plant based, offering ice cream truffles and cakes. Love that. Excellent, excellent. And what's your most popular product, would you say? Um, so our strawberry shortcake ice cream, which we sell in store, is our most popular. And then we also have our cakes and our gift set half pints, six in a box. Excellent. Ooh. Well, Yummy. congratulations. Yes, I love it. Too. I would love to. Um, so what exactly happened that night when the two of you went out and you ran into Lenny and the woman uh, at the club? Okay, so... Um, we went out because it was Formula One, and our friends just opened their um, nightclub gala, our best friends. Yep. And I'm standing there talking to, like, a few friends, and then I turned around, bumped right into Lenny. Like, he was walking in, and he was holding the girl's hand. And so this was, like, it was so, so new. It was, was so fresh. So like, new. I'm so heartbroken. And I, and I told him, please don't do If you're going to go out, don't have any PDA. I don't want to see it. Uh, and so I looked down, and I was, like, shocked, and I said, can you not do this? And then they didn't stop, and then, you know. Things got ugly by the end of the Well, night. no, you know, I, I said, I confronted, I said, well, how could you do this, you know, how could you do this to me? Because I've mark. known the, the person for a while. I was like, how, and she's like. You've known the person for a while. Yeah, yeah. From where? Just, like, in our social circles, like, social. Really? Yeah. Would she come, you know, one thing that comes up uh, through the season is that the women say that you guys were throwing these really lavish parties yeah. with all these super hot women around. Yeah, everywhere. I did. And like really strippery kind of women. Your husband's got to leave yeah. you for the girl. I understand. But it was but, too much even for me. Like, I, I didn't want this, but. You didn't want what? These Those parties. parties. I, I didn't. I enjoyed them once I had a couple drinks. So I was right. like, okay, let me have some fun. But I, it just made me uncomfortable that it was so many of these people and not my close friends that I've had for so long. Like, it was just too much of it. It was just like a... Personal question. You know, did, he ever, did he ever ask you to, like, open up the relationship and say, let's bring someone else in or let's have some fun together no. as a couple? No? No, he's very, sh like, shy and doesn't... No. No. Mm -hmm. Larsa, did you, yeah. because I think it comes up with Alexia a couple of times and maybe a couple of the other women say in interview this season, mm -hmm. you know, those parties always seemed odd to me. It seemed like she was throwing these parties for him. They were odd but, to me also. Right. And so were they odd to you, Larsa? I mean, it's Miami. So for me, I never thought it was odd when we were like hanging out. Do you remember the one time when you came to one of the parties and we were just sitting and talking, all the girls were like, what the f***? What's, what's wrong? I mean, it's Miami, so you it's very eclectic. You see all kinds of people. We're getting so mad. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't I don't feel like that. Just because you're surrounded by beautiful people doesn't necessarily mean that your husband's going to, like, cheat on you with one of the girls. I just think that Lenny was kind of bored. I think he may have been bored and, like, needed attention, and he found someone that was going to give him attention. Because I feel like we would have when you would have parties, I feel like you would really be geared toward us, like your friends, your girlfriends. And so maybe he felt I, like... I was trying to be a great host. I was really always were. entertaining my friends. That I, I mean, I, I even remember, you know, you had that lingerie party at your house in yeah. season three or four. Yeah. And it was like, um, I guess season three maybe. And I guess if I think about it, when I'm dating someone, I don't want to have a party and have a bunch of hot guys over. I want to have like a bunch of old ladies over because I don't want them looking maybe, at Maybe you're hot. right. Maybe that's what it takes. You I know? don't know. You know yeah. I, I really was so confident in our relationship back then and that's what he wanted. And like, you know, I didn't want to take all his happiness away. I didn't really love it, but you know. It is all right, I want to go back to our um, yeah. fans, Julia and Taylor from Phoenix. What's your question for Lisa? Hi, Andy. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Larsa. So, Lisa, we want to know, after everything that has gone down in your marriage, do you still think that Lenny did not have sex with the person that he had an emotional affair with? Good question, uh, Julia uh, and Taylor. Um, I really don't know. 
The reason I didn't think so is because I had access to his DMs. Yeah. Right, but he's I, not going to say, like, no, thank no, you, but, they, like... No, but they didn't... He's for licking my balls. Like, no, 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 no. He's for no, licking no, no. my balls. He's not going <laughs> to... I don't... I don't know, but I had access to all the messages, and they didn't know, because I could see their communication, okay. and they never talked... Oh, they... So they didn't know that you had access, no. and they were, like, going... Okay. I had, like, his, okay. um... His... Whatever. Good I saw point. things yeah. on, like, an iPad or whatever that was... Right. I just kind of saw it, and yeah. I didn't see anything like that, so... And then they both say that nothing happened, so I don't know. Larsa doesn't buy it. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. I just either, feel like you but... can't really trust anyone that, like, exits the way he exited, you know? Well, let's go to Melanie from New York with a question for Larsa. Hi, Andy. Hi, ladies. Larsa, what advice do you have for Julia and Martina as they deal with bumps in their relationship? Um, I kind of feel like you have to focus on all the good things and not necessarily the small bumps along the road. Like, I feel like I'm like a relationship person. I work super hard on my relationships, and I feel like you have to look at the big picture and focus on the good things because there's no one that's perfect. And I don't know. I always believe in the good in the people, you know, good in people, right? I'm yes, always, like, optimistic, do. and, yes, like, I always do. believe in the good in people. So I she feel does. like the grass isn't she greener and focus mm -hmm. on the good and not yeah. necessarily the 2% that could possibly be bad. Is it as wild to you two as it is to me that Martina Navratilova is on this show? Yeah, I love her. It's kind of crazy. Love I mean, it, is, it yeah. is wild. I'm obsessed with her, by I'm the way. I love her. Yeah, really? I love she her. has I some BDE. Yeah, she does. She really does. Sure. She is so cool. She's she is so, so cool fun. that, like, yeah, she's so cool. I love her. Yeah. I love being around her. Yeah, she's That's great. Yeah, she's That's great. And I love Julia. I'm, I'm so happy this season that I got to, a chance to really appreciate Julia. I, I am feel too. like yeah. there's so much good to her. And I feel like sometimes, like, having Adriana there, because Adriana could, you know, could be toxic at times. And I kind of felt like she just would, like, you know, cause, like, a situation with mm -hmm. Julia and I, and I feel like now that like Adrian is not necessarily such a big part of Julia's life, that like I really appreciate her. Mm. I appreciate Julia. Is she not a part of Julia's life. Uh, no, I feel like she's more open to all of us Got now. It. I Got feel it. like in the beginning, like the it last the season, yeah, it was yeah. basically like yeah. whatever Adriana said, Julia would basically co-sign on. Right. And I right. feel like now Julia no, kind of feels like we're friends, we're all, you know, like, like more of a family. Yes. Yeah. All right, I want to thank Lisa Hochstein and Larsa Pippen, Real Housewives of Miami, and Hannah Keller from Woods Urban Dessert Now. For more, click around at VeramoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here, and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.